Here is a quick and simple way to add an extra element of steaminess to your image or scene. Let's start by deleting everything. Shift A to add a plane mesh. Rotate it 90 degrees and apply by pressing Ctrl A and selecting Rotation. Go into Edit Mode, press U for UV Mapping and select Unwrap. We will need the UV map for the displacement to affect the shader properly. Add new material and name it something like Steam Material. Also, if you are using the EV renderer, then set the blend mode in the material settings to alpha blend. Uh, then let's head over to the shading workspace. First we want to add some noise. So add a texture coordinate node, a noise texture node, a color ramp node set to B spline, and add another black color stop. We want to connect the UV output of the texture coordinate node to vector of the noise texture and the factor out to the factor in on the color ramp. The color ramp should connect to both the base color and to the alpha channel of the principled BSDF node. We can increase the contrast by moving the two outer color stops of the color ramp inward. Set the noise texture scale to 2 the detail to 4, roughness to 0 0.3, and distortion to 0 0.5. Play around with these until you get the smoky look you like. Next, we want to create a mask to feather the edges of our noise a little. For this, let's add another texture coordinate node, a mapping node, a vector math node set to multiply, a gradient texture set to spherical, and a color ramp. Connect them up and connect the color to base color and alpha to see what you are working with. Adjust the multiplier values until you get a nice dome shape. I found that around 1.5 on both X and Y work best for me, but you can base this on your own personal preference. On the mapping node, I set the X value to negative 0.5 and the Y value to around negative 0.3. To get a smoother fade on the edges, set the color ramp to B spline and move the black color stop until you get a smooth fade. You can always add another color stop here too if you'd like to get more specific effects on the fade. Then we can add a mix color node to merge the two color ramps. Connect the output to the base color and alpha as before. Set the factor to 1 and change from mix to multiply. Great, now that we have our smoky look, we just need to get it moving. Place a vector math node between the texture coordinate node and the noise texture node and set it to add. Then grab a combine XYZ node and connect it to the other vector input. If we play with these values, you can see the noise texture moving around. Shift A to add a math node and set to multiply. Shift D to duplicate and then also add a value node. Connect one of the multiplier nodes to Y for moving the noise upward and the other to Z to get a nice depth effect in the movement. Then connect the value node to both, and we can actually tie this value to the frame number. This is a little too quick for my liking, so let's divide this by 100. To change direction of the steam, set the second value of the Y multiplier to a negative number. Again, play around with these values till you get the effect you're looking for. Lastly, you will see that if you try to reshape the plane, the smoke becomes distorted. Let's fix that. Select the plane and go to the Geometry node workspace. Click Add New Geometry node. Shift A to add. Search for Subdivide Mesh. Insert it and set it to something like Level 5. This adds more geometry to the mesh for displacement. Now we can reshape it as needed. Tall, flat, skewed, or oddly shaped. As a last note, if you want to change the color of the steam, go to the principled BSDF node 
and edit the emission color to whatever you like. To get it back to white, just set the saturation to zero. And that's all I have for you today. I hope you found it useful. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe for more. Cheers for now.